What if the deadliest weapon in the air is not the missile it carries, but the mind inside it? Think of a fighter jet so advanced it does not just obey its pilot, but thinks alongside them. A machine that can vanish from enemy radar as though it were never there and summon loyal drone wingmen to battle by its side. It is a project unfolding right now inside highly guarded facilities in the United Kingdom. The aircraft is called the Tempest, a sixth-generation fighter built to launch aerial warfare into an entirely new era. Not simply to fly, but to redefine the very meaning of air superiority. For decades, the United States has set the pace in stealth and air superiority with jets like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. But the global race is heating up. China's J-20 patrols its skies with growing confidence, while Russia's Sukhoi-57 has tried, with mixed success, to prove its stealthy capabilities. Britain, however, refuses to sit on the sidelines. With the Tempest, the United Kingdom is declaring that it still has the innovation, the ambition, and the partnerships to lead the world in combat aviation. The name itself carries weight. In World War II, the Hawker Tempest was one of the most feared British fighters, stepping in to replace the aging typhoon and turning the tide against Nazi aircraft. Today, history is repeating itself. The modern Eurofighter Typhoon has served with distinction, but its era is drawing to a close. To replace it, Britain is bringing back the Tempest name, this time attached to a jet so advanced that it promises to be more than a fighter. It is envisioned as a flying combat system, an airborne platform that will evolve over decades. The origins of the Tempest tell a story of both necessity and strategy. After Brexit, the United Kingdom found itself outside the European Union, where France emerged as the leading aerospace power, keen to protect its own defense industry, create high-technology jobs, and secure its skies for the next half-century. Britain launched an ambitious new program. This was not just about defense. It was also about sending a message that Britain remained a global force in aerospace. The first glimpse of this project came at the Farnborough International Air Show in 2018. A full-scale model was unveiled, its sleek triangular wings and outward-angled twin tails giving it the unmistakable silhouette of a stealth jet. At first glance, it may have looked like a cousin of the F-22 or the Chinese J-20, but beneath its smooth surfaces were radical design ideas. The Tempest has been built with modularity in mind. Instead of locking in a fixed set of weapons and systems, engineers designed it to function like a plug-and-play machine. Each mission could call for a different mix of sensors, electronic warfare gear, or fuel. Standardized bays and attachment points allow rapid upgrades as technology evolves, giving the Tempest a long service life without endless redesigns. Three-dimensional printing will also play a central role. About 30% of the jet's structure is expected to be produced this way. This method allows for complex shapes that are impossible to carve out of solid blocks, reduces waste, and speeds up production. By layering metal powder into intricate lattice structures, engineers can balance strength and weight in ways never before possible. In short, the Tempest is not just another stealth jet. It is an adaptable platform built to evolve with the battlefield. Of course, stealth is at the heart of the design. The aircraft features a subtly raised rear fuselage, hiding its air ducts in S-shaped curves that shield the engines from radar and infrared detection. Weapons and fuel tanks are stored internally, preserving its clean outline. Every curve and angle is meant to confuse enemy radar waves, while advanced coatings minimize the heat signature. Compared to the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Tempest will be dramatically harder to track or lock onto, but stealth alone is not enough. The Tempest also needs raw power and endurance. This is where Rolls-Royce steps in with one of the most ambitious engine projects ever attempted. Modern fighters demand vast amounts of electricity for their radars, sensors, and weapons. Rolls-Royce has been developing what they call the Embedded Electrical Starter Generator, 
or E2SG, instead of relying on heavy gearboxes and external generators, this system integrates electrical power production directly into the engine core. The result is astonishing. The Tempest engines could generate up to one megawatt of electricity, 10 times more than the Typhoon. That much power is not just for flight controls or sensors, it opens the door for directed energy weapons, advanced electronic warfare, and high-performance cooling systems to mask the jet's infrared footprint. The engines themselves act like power plants, shifting output between thrust, electricity, and cooling depending on the demands of the mission. It means the Tempest could one day fire lasers at incoming missiles, while still accelerating through the sky with afterburners blazing. Inside the cockpit, the pilot will not fly alone. Leonardo UK is building an entire ecosystem of avionics and artificial intelligence to transform the way the Tempest is operated. Integrated sensing means radar, infrared cameras, and electronic warfare receivers will feed into a single stream of information. Augmented reality overlays in the pilot's helmet will project flight paths, targeting data and threat markers directly onto the pilot's field of view. And perhaps most revolutionary of all, an artificial intelligence co-pilot will sit in the background, constantly analyzing data, suggesting maneuvers, and even taking over control if the human pilot blacks out. Imagine a jet that does not just respond to commands, but actively helps its pilot fight and survive. The weapons it carries are equally advanced. Britain and Japan are working together on a new missile that combines the Meteor's powerful ramjet engine with Mitsubishi's Seeker technology. This weapon, called the Joint Advanced Missile, is expected to outrange anything currently in service. Cruise missiles designed to slip past radar and strike high-value targets could also be carried internally. But perhaps the most futuristic feature is the concept of loyal wingmen. These are unmanned drones that fly alongside the Tempest, controlled by the pilot or AI systems. They could scout ahead, jam enemy defenses, launch their own missiles, or even sacrifice themselves to protect the manned aircraft. By blending human and machine, Britain hopes to multiply the Tempest's combat power without multiplying risk to pilots. The project is not just a British endeavor. Italy, Sweden, and Japan have all signed on, each bringing unique expertise. Italy contributes advanced materials and aerospace experience, Sweden offers cutting-edge radar technology, and Japan provides engine research and electronic systems. Together, this coalition shares not just the financial burden, but the knowledge base to create something greater than any one nation could achieve. But building such a jet is not cheap. The United Kingdom alone expects to spend over $8 billion on the program, with thousands of engineers already working on components. A prototype is planned for flight by 2027, with full service entry around 2035. That timeline may sound distant, but in the world of aerospace, it is remarkably ambitious. The United States has taken decades to develop its next-generation aircraft. Britain is determined to move faster, relying on advanced digital design, virtual testing, and rapid prototyping to keep costs and time under control. If successful, the Tempest will not just be another jet, it will be a networked combat hub, commanding drones, coordinating with allies, and overwhelming opponents with speed, stealth, and intelligence. Its very existence could deter rivals, reminding the world that the Royal Air Force remains at the forefront of innovation. The future of aerial warfare will not resemble the dramatic duels of the past, where fighter planes clashed in twisting mid-air battles. Tomorrow's skies will not echo with close-range chases and bursts of gunfire. Instead, the wars of the air will be defined by long-range engagements, invisible sensors scanning hundreds of miles, electronic strikes that cripple defenses before a missile is ever launched, and artificial intelligence capable of predicting and countering threats faster than any human pilot. In the battles of the future, survival will no longer depend on raw speed or agility alone. 
The true advantage will come from who can see more, know more, and act faster. In this unforgiving arena of information dominance, Britain's Tempest fighter has been conceived. It is not just another jet designed to stay aloft against the odds, it is being engineered to seize control of the skies and command the battle space. The Tempest is more than a machine of metal and electronics. It is a vision of how air combat will evolve in the decades ahead. With sleek stealth shaping, it aims to slip past enemy radar like a shadow. Its revolutionary engines promise immense thrust while generating the electrical power needed for the weapons of tomorrow. Flying alongside it will be loyal drone wingmen, unmanned partners capable of scouting, jamming, or striking targets without putting a human pilot at risk. Perhaps most groundbreaking of all is the presence of an artificial intelligence co-pilot. This digital partner will process data at lightning speed, helping the human pilot make decisions in moments where hesitation could mean defeat. Together, human and machine will form a team that no single brain could match. The Tempest is not built simply to keep pace with rivals. It is designed to leap ahead, to set the tone for how wars of the future will be fought in the air. In this way, it represents Britain's boldest step towards shaping the skies of tomorrow. But the Tempest is more than a machine. It is a symbol of strategy, history, and international resolve. Britain has joined forces with Italy, Sweden, and Japan to create not just an aircraft, but an alliance. Each partner brings unique expertise, advanced avionics, radar mastery, propulsion technology, cutting-edge materials, woven together into a fighter designed for supremacy in the mid-21st century. For the United Kingdom, the Tempest is also a declaration. It stands as a shield against future rivals like China and Russia, whose own stealth and hypersonic projects grow more ambitious each year. And it is a statement that Britain still intends to shape the future of air combat, not follow it. The echoes of history make the name especially fitting. Just as the Hawker Tempest of the Second World War once gave the Royal Air Force a decisive edge, this new Tempest is intended to tilt the balance of power once again. When it finally takes to the skies later this decade, the Tempest will represent more than engineering triumph. It will be a test of Britain's resolve to lead in the most unforgiving battlefield of all the sky. And if it succeeds, it may ensure that Britain and its allies continue to hold the advantage in an age where air dominance decides the outcome of wars before they even begin. The Tempest is not simply another defense program or the next aircraft on a production line. It is an ambitious vision of what the future of aerial combat could look like. Britain, together with its international partners, has set out to design a fighter that is stealthier, smarter, and more interconnected than anything the world has witnessed before. This is not about creating just another machine of war. It is about building a system that merges human skill, artificial intelligence, and cutting-edge technology into a single platform capable of dominating the skies of tomorrow. The battlefields of the future will be nothing like the dogfights of old, with pilots twisting and turning through the clouds in a desperate duel. Instead, they will be silent, invisible wars waged through advanced sensors, electronic jamming, data networks, and weapons guided by algorithms that react faster than any human. In that unforgiving environment, survival will not be enough. Victory will belong to the side that can outthink, outmaneuver, and outlast its rival. The Tempest has been designed with exactly that philosophy. From its modular systems that can adapt to new technologies, to engines capable of generating immense electrical power for future directed energy weapons, every feature of the Tempest is meant to ensure that it does not become obsolete the moment it enters service. It is a bet that by combining stealth, speed, and artificial intelligence, Britain can once again lead the way in fighter innovation just as it did during the Second World War with legendary aircraft like the Hawker Tempest. But, bold visions do not exist in isolation. Across the globe, other powers are working tirelessly to claim their own stake in the skies of tomorrow. China already has its J-20 inches operation, 
and Russia continues to push forward with its Su-57 platform. Meanwhile, the United States, long the leader in air power, is developing its own sixth-generation programs that could rival or surpass anything in Europe. This raises an important question. Will the Tempest truly set a new standard for air combat, or will it become just one competitor in a fierce global race where no single nation can maintain dominance for long? That uncertainty is part of what makes this project so fascinating. It is not only about engineering, but about ambition, strategy, and national resolve. If successful, the Tempest could cement Britain's role as a global leader in aerospace innovation for decades to come. If it falters, the balance of power in the skies may tip elsewhere. And this is where I turn the question over to you. Do you believe the Tempest has the potential to redefine the future of air power? Or do you think rival nations like China, Russia, or even the United States might catch up or overtake it before it ever takes flight in significant numbers? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the machines shaping tomorrow's battles, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay with us as we explore more of the incredible technologies rewriting the future of war.